Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, broke barriers in Hollywood and left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born in Miami in 1927, Poitier grew up in the Bahamas and returned to the United States as a teenager to pursue his dreams. Poitier's career took off in the 1950s and he quickly became one of the most prominent and respected actors of his time. He was the first black actor to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Lilies of the Field in 1964. Throughout his career, Poitier chose roles that challenged racial stereotypes and showcased the depth and complexity of black characters. He starred in a number of influential films, including A Raisin in the Sun, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and In the Heat of the Night. Poitier's work paved the way for future generations of black actors and filmmakers, and his legacy continues to be celebrated and studied today. In addition to his acting career, Poitier also directed several films and served as the Bahamian ambassador to Japan. Poitier's impact on the film industry and on society as a whole is immeasurable. He will always be remembered as a trailblazer and a true icon of Hollywood. Sidney Poitier is a groundbreaking actor known for his powerful performances and trailblazing role in the civil rights movement. He was the first African American to win an Academy Award for Best Actor. Do you have a personal story about how Sidney Poitier has inspired or impacted you? Or perhaps you know a lesser known fact about him that you find fascinating? We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Whether it's a favorite movie, a memorable quote, or a personal experience, we want to hear it all. Throughout this video, we'll be sharing many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Sidney Poitier, so be sure to keep watching. In the meantime, feel free to share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Sidney Poitier's career spanned over six decades, and he was known for his versatility and powerful performances. He broke barriers and paved the way for future generations of African-American actors. So, whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering his work, there's always something new to learn and appreciate about Sidney Poitier. So, let's dive in and explore the life and legacy of this classic star. Sidney Poitier, the groundbreaking actor, was born in Miami in 1927 to Bahamian parents. His family were farmers, and he spent his early years on their farm in the Bahamas. Poitier's love for acting began during his time in the Army, where he participated in Army shows. After leaving the Army, Poitier moved to New York City and worked as a dishwasher while taking acting classes. He faced numerous challenges due to racism and poverty but persevered, inspired by actors like Paul Robeson and Canada Lee. Poitier's big break came in 1950 when he was cast in the Broadway play Lysistrata. His performance caught the attention of director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, who cast him in the 1952 film No Way Out. Poitier's career took off from there, and he became one of the most prominent African-American actors of his time. Throughout his career, Poitier has credited his family, particularly his parents, for instilling in him the values of hard work and perseverance. He has also spoken about the influence of actors like Robeson and Lee, who paved the way for African-American actors in Hollywood. Poitier's own contributions to the world of acting have been significant, breaking down barriers and inspiring generations of actors to come. Sidney Poitier was a groundbreaking actor who influenced the film industry during his era and beyond. He began his career in the 1950s and quickly became a prominent figure in Hollywood. Poitier's contribution to Hollywood is significant, as he was the first black actor to win an Academy Award for Best Actor, which he received for his role in Lilies of the Field in 1964. Poitier's impact on the film industry went beyond his individual achievements. He was a trailblazer for black actors and actresses in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations to succeed in the industry. Poitier's roles challenged racial stereotypes and showcased the complexity and diversity of black characters. He starred in films such as Guess Who's Coming to Dinner and In the Heat of the Night, which tackled issues of race and discrimination in America. Poitier's influence extended beyond his on-screen roles. He was a strong advocate for civil rights and used his platform to speak out against racism and discrimination. Poitier's work in Hollywood helped to break down barriers and create opportunities for black actors and actresses contributing to a more diverse and inclusive industry. In conclusion, Sidney Poitier was a transformative figure in the film industry. His contributions to Hollywood extended beyond his individual achievements as he paved the way for future generations of black actors and actresses. Poitier's impact on the industry is still felt today 
and his legacy continues to inspire and influence filmmakers and actors alike. Sidney Poitier's passion for acting took root in his early life. Born in Miami and raised in the Bahamas, Poitier moved to New York as a young man with dreams of becoming an actor. He faced numerous obstacles, including racial discrimination and a lack of formal education. However, his determination never wavered. Poitier's big break came in 1949 when he was cast in a small role in the Broadway play Lysistrata. Although his part was minor, Poitier was determined to make the most of the opportunity. He spent hours observing and learning from the more experienced actors around him. Poitier's dedication and talent soon caught the attention of producers and directors, and he began to land larger roles in both theater and film. In 1955, he starred in the groundbreaking film Blackboard Jungle, which tackled issues of race and education in America. Poitier's powerful performance earned him critical acclaim and cemented his status as a rising star. Throughout his career, Poitier continued to push boundaries and break down barriers. He became the first African-American to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in the 1963 film Lilies of the Field. Poitier's work as an actor, director, and activist has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and on American culture as a whole. Poitier's passion for acting was fueled by his desire to tell stories that mattered and to make a difference in the world. He once said, I wanted to be part of the American landscape, and I wanted to be seen as an American. Through his work, Poitier has not only achieved that goal, but has also inspired countless others to pursue their own dreams and passions. Sidney Poitier received a Tony Award nomination for Best Actor in 1960 for his role as Walter Lee Younger in the Broadway play A Raisin in the Sun. The play, written by Lorraine Hansberry, opened at the Ethel Barrymore Theater in New York City on March 11, 1959, and was nominated for the Best Play Tony Award. Poitier, Claudia McNeil, Ruby Dee, Diana Sands, Ivan Dixon, Louis Gossett Jr., and John Fiedler all reprised their stage roles in the film version of A Raisin in the Sun in 1961. In 1961, Poitier became a father for the fourth time when his first wife, Juanita Hardy, gave birth to their daughter, Gina Poitier. Poitier was 34 years old at the time. The Broadway production of A Raisin in the Sun was a significant success, receiving a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a play for Claudia McNeil. The play and Poitier's performance in it were important milestones in his career, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. Sidney Poitier, a legendary actor, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born into poverty in the Bahamas, he moved to New York at 16 with little money and no contacts in the entertainment industry. He initially struggled to find work and even slept on subway trains. Despite his talent, Poitier also encountered skepticism from the industry due to his race. At that time, few leading roles were given to black actors and Poitier was often rejected for roles because of his skin color. However, Poitier's resilience and determination helped him overcome these obstacles. He took acting classes and worked odd jobs to support himself. Eventually, he landed small roles in theater productions and on television. Poitier's breakthrough role came in 1955 with the film Blackboard Jungle, in which he played a troubled high school student. His powerful performance earned him critical acclaim and helped pave the way for more diverse roles for black actors. Throughout his career, Poitier continued to push boundaries and challenge stereotypes. He became the first black actor to win an Academy Award for Best Actor in 1964 for his role in Lilies of the Field. Poitier's success was not only a testament to his talent and hard work, but also to his resilience in the face of adversity. He found creative solutions to overcome the obstacles he faced, including taking acting classes and seeking out diverse roles. His legacy continues to inspire and empower aspiring actors of all backgrounds. Sidney Poitier was considered for the lead role in The Owl and The Pussycat opposite Diana Sands, who had played the role of Doris on Broadway. Despite not getting the part, Poitier's career continued to soar. He was named the 22nd greatest actor on the American Film Institute's list of 50 greatest screen legends. One of Poitier's notable roles was in No Way Out, where he played Dr. Luther Brooks. His co-star, Richard Widmark, later appeared with him in The Long Ships and The Bedford Incident. Poitier's on-screen chemistry with his co-stars was undeniable, and his ability to hold his own against more experienced actors was a testament to his talent. Poitier's career was marked by his groundbreaking roles and his ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. His contributions to the world of film continued to be celebrated 
and his legacy as a trailblazing actor remains intact. Sidney Poitier's career had several breakthrough moments that showcased his talent and paved the way for future actors. In 1950, Poitier's performance in No Way Out marked his first major film role, where he played a doctor treating a racist patient. This role challenged racial stereotypes and demonstrated Poitier's potential. In 1955, Poitier starred in Blackboard Jungle, a film that tackled issues of race and education. His portrayal of a troubled teenager in an urban high school resonated with audiences and critics alike. Poitier's groundbreaking role in The Defiant Ones earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. In this film, he co-starred with Tony Curtis, and they played two escaped prisoners shackled together, one white and one black. Their compelling performances highlighted the absurdity of racial prejudice. In 1963, Poitier became the first black actor to win an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Lilies of the Field. This achievement was a significant milestone in Hollywood and for the civil rights movement. Poitier's performance in In the Heat of the Night was another breakthrough moment. He played a detective from Philadelphia who becomes involved in a murder investigation in a small Mississippi town. His character's intelligence and poise challenged racist attitudes and made a powerful statement about race relations in America. Poitier's career continued to soar and he became a symbol of dignity, intelligence, and grace. His breakthrough moments not only showcased his talent, but also paved the way for future generations of black actors. Sidney Poitier's role is dead. Virgil Tibbs in In the Heat of the Night was banned in South Africa, reflecting the country's censorship at the time. Poitier also portrayed Simon of Siren in The Greatest Story Ever Told, set in the ancient Roman city of Cyrenaica in eastern Libya. In Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Poitier's character, Dr. John Prentice, made a long-distance call, which would cost 1982 in today's inflation-adjusted value. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, is known for his unique approach to his work. He believes in fully understanding and becoming his characters, often studying their backgrounds and motivations in great detail. Poitier's personal experiences, particularly his upbringing in the Bahamas and his move to the United States, have significantly influenced his acting style. His calm and dignified demeanor on screen, as well as his willingness to take on challenging roles, have made him a powerful and enduring figure in Hollywood. Poitier's work often reflects his worldview, which emphasizes the importance of equality, respect, and understanding between people of different backgrounds. Sidney Poitier made history as the first black male actor to be nominated for an Academy Award in any acting category, earning his first Best Actor nomination for his role in The Defiant Ones. He went on to become the first black actor to win the Oscar for Best Actor, taking home the award in 1964 for his performance in Lilies of the Field. Throughout his career, Poitier chose roles that challenged racial stereotypes and tackled important social issues. One of his most memorable performances was as Debt. Virgil Tibbs and In the Heat of the Night, a film he has often cited as his personal favorite. At the time of his death, Poitier was not only the last surviving Oscar nominee for Best Actor from the 1950s, but also the last surviving winner from the 1960s. His groundbreaking career and unforgettable performances have left a lasting impact on the film industry and continue to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. Sidney Poitier was a groundbreaking actor who made significant contributions to the film industry. He became the first African American to win an Academy Award for Best Actor in 1964, which paved the way for future generations of black actors. Poitier's impact on the industry can be seen in the way he challenged racial stereotypes and prejudices through his roles. He chose parts that showcased the complexity and depth of African American characters, and his performances resonated with audiences of all races. According to film critic Armin White, Poitier's movies matter because they reveal an America that has yet to fully acknowledge its racial diversity and complexity. Poitier's work helped to shift the narrative around race in Hollywood and beyond. Poitier's influence can also be seen in the techniques he used as an actor. He brought a quiet dignity and intensity to his roles, often conveying a great deal with just a look or a subtle gesture. This approach had a profound impact on other actors, including Denzel Washington, who has cited Poitier as a major influence. Washington has said, Sidney Poitier was a pioneer, a trailblazer, and a true inspiration. He showed me that it was possible to break through barriers and achieve success, no matter what obstacles stood in my way. 
Poitier's influence on storytelling is also significant. His films often tackled important social issues, such as race, class, and social justice. By bringing these issues to the forefront, Poitier helped to raise awareness and spark important conversations. Director Ava DuVernay has said, Sidney Poitier's work has always been about more than just entertainment. He has used his platform to shed light on the issues that matter most, and his impact can still be felt today. In conclusion, Sidney Poitier's contributions to the film industry cannot be overstated. He broke down barriers, challenged stereotypes, and inspired countless actors and filmmakers. His legacy continues to resonate today, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless artists who have followed in his footsteps. In the 1963 film Lilies of the Field, Sidney Poitier's character, Homer Smith, sings the song I'm in. However, it was actually Jester Hairston's voice that was heard, as he dubbed Poitier's singing and also composed the song. Hairston is known for his role as Rolly on the sitcom I'm in. Poitier played Eddie Cook in the 1961 film Paris Blues, where he showcased his tenor sax playing skills. However, it was Paul Gonsalves who provided the actual playing for the soundtrack. Billy Byers coached Paul Newman on playing the trombone, and Murray McEachern played it on the soundtrack. The soundtrack was recorded at Reeves Sound Studios in New York City from May 1, 1961. In the 1977 film A Piece of the Action, Sidney Poitier directed Bill Cosby for the third time, following Uptown Saturday Night and Let's Do It Again. Poitier played the character Manny Durrell, while Cosby played Wesley Pittman. Sidney Poitier, the legendary actor, led a life that was not only dedicated to his craft, but also to various causes and philanthropic efforts. Beyond his professional achievements, he was a family man and a passionate advocate for social justice. Poitier was a devoted husband and father. He married Juanita Hardy in 1950, and they had four daughters together. After their divorce in 1965, he married Joanna Shemkis in 1976, and they had two daughters. Family was important to Poitier, and he often spoke about the values he wanted to instill in his children. Poitier was also deeply committed to giving back to his community. He was a strong advocate for civil rights and used his platform to speak out against racism and discrimination. In addition, he was involved in various philanthropic efforts, including his work as a goodwill ambassador for UNESCO. One of the causes closest to Poitier's heart was education. He believed that access to quality education was a fundamental right and worked tirelessly to promote literacy and educational opportunities for children around the world. In 1997, he established the Sidney Poitier New American Film School in the Bahamas, which provides training and resources for aspiring filmmakers. Poitier's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work as an actor. He often chose roles that reflected his commitment to social justice and equality. His portrayal of characters who challenged racial stereotypes and fought for their rights helped to break down barriers and pave the way for future generations of actors. In addition to his acting career, Poitier was also a director and author. He directed several films, including A Warm December and Stir Crazy, and wrote two memoirs, This Life and The Measure of a Man. Through his work, Poitier inspired and uplifted countless individuals and left a lasting impact on the world. Sidney Poitier's portrayal of Walter Lee Younger in the play, A Raisin in the Sun, was a significant role in his career. He shared the screen with Roy Glenn, who played the character Willie Harris. Interestingly, Glenn also played Poitier's father and guests who's coming to dinner, even though he was only 10 years older. In No Way Out, Poitier played Dr. Luther Brooks. To secure the role, he lied about his age to the director, Joseph L. Mankiewicz, claiming he was 27 when he was actually 22. Poitier's height was also notable in his role as Dead, Virgil Tibbs in In the Heat of the Night. The difference in height between him and Rod Steiger, who played Chief Gillespie, was 4 12 inches. To emphasize this, several scenes were shot over Poitier's shoulder, looking down at Steiger, giving Tibbs a subtle feeling of superiority. Sidney Poitier's legacy in the acting industry is one of trailblazing and groundbreaking performances. He broke barriers as a black actor, earning respect and recognition in Hollywood during a time of racial segregation. His commitment to his craft and his dedication to promoting positive social change left a lasting impact on the industry. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Poitier offered the advice to always do your best, no matter what the circumstances. He believed that success comes from hard work, perseverance, and a strong sense of self-belief. 
Boydier also emphasized the importance of staying true to one's values and using one's platform to make a difference in the world. Boydier's future contributions may be hard to predict, given that he is now in his 90s. However, his impact on the acting industry and his contributions to civil rights continue to resonate today. His legacy serves as a reminder of the power of art to affect social change and inspire future generations. In conclusion, Sidney Poitier's legacy is one of excellence, perseverance, and social responsibility. His advice to aspiring actors is to stay true to themselves, work hard, and use their talents to make a positive impact on the world. Poitier's future contributions may be uncertain, but his impact on the acting industry and civil rights will endure for generations to come. Sidney Poitier, born as the younger brother of Cyril Poitier, had a connection to the light heavyweight champion Archie Moore through his sister. In the film The Defiant Ones, Poitier was initially set to star alongside Marlon Brando. However, Brando was tied up with the problematic production of Mutiny on the Bounty, leading to Poitier's solo portrayal of Noah Cullen. In A Raisin in the Sun, Poitier took on the role of Walter the Younger. The play, which mirrored playwright Lorraine Hansberry's family's experience with housing discrimination, was brought to Poitier's attention by an old friend, Philip Rose. Poitier's involvement was crucial for the movie adaptation, as it might not have been realized without him. The Defiant One's director, Stanley Kramer, had initially envisioned Poitier and Brando for the lead roles drawn by the integration message. However, Brando's unavailability due to mutiny on the bounty and his dissatisfaction with Kramer's previous work led to Poitier's solo performance. Poitier's powerful acting transformed the movie into a compelling narrative of racial tension and friendship. In A Raisin in the Sun, Poitier's portrayal of Walter Lee Younger resonated with audiences, reflecting the struggles of a black family striving for a better life amidst discrimination. Poitier's dedication to the role, and the powerful source material, inspired by Hansberry's family's real-life experiences, contributed to the movie's enduring impact. Sidney Poitier's journey in the entertainment industry is a powerful testament to the potential of creativity and perseverance. Born in 1927, Poitier rose to prominence during a time of significant social change, and his work as an actor helped to shape and reflect the world around him. Throughout his career, Poitier demonstrated a deep passion for his craft, delivering nuanced and compelling performances that captivated audiences and left a lasting impact on the industry. He was a pioneer in many ways, becoming the first black actor to win an Academy Award for Best Actor in 1964. Poitier's work was groundbreaking, and his innovative approach to acting helped to pave the way for future generations of performers. He was known for taking on complex and challenging roles, and his ability to bring depth and humanity to his characters helped to break down barriers and challenge stereotypes. Despite facing significant obstacles and, and discrimination throughout his career, Poitier remained committed to his craft and to using his platform to make a difference. He was a trailblazer in every sense of the word, and his enduring impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. Poitier's journey is a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. His work as an actor inspired and moved people around the world, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of performers and artists. In the end, Sidney Poitier's story is a testament to the power of following one's passion, pushing boundaries, and never giving up. His contributions to the entertainment industry will be remembered for generations to come, and his legacy serves as a shining example of what can be achieved through hard work, dedication, and a deep love for one's craft. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, demonstrated his directorial skills in Buck and the Preacher, taking over from Joseph Sargent at the advice of his future wife, Joanna Shimkus. This marked Poitier's directorial debut, leading to a total of nine directed films. In 1958, Stanley Kramer approached Poitier for The Defiant Ones, a role that significantly boosted his stardom. However, Poitier was concerned that declining the role of Porgy and Porgy and Bess might jeopardize his chances with the Defiant Ones, as Samuel Goldwyn held considerable influence in Hollywood. Poitier's characters in In the Heat of the Night, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner share a notable scene. Both Det, Virgil Tibbs, and Poitier's unnamed character in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner offer to reimburse white characters for long-distance phone calls. This recurring theme highlights Poitier's on-screen persona and the social context of the films. 
In Let's Do It Again, Sidney Poitier played Clyde Williams, reprising his role as best friend to Bill Cosby, but with different names, wives, and jobs than in Uptown Saturday Night. This film, while sharing some cast members, is not a sequel and is set in a different state. In Lilies of the Field, Poitier took on the character of Homer Smith, giving up his usual salary for a percentage of the profits. His exceptional performance earned him the Best Actor Oscar. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner features Poitier as John Prentice, working alongside two legends, Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepper. Due to Tracy's health, two shooting scripts were used, and Poitier, an Oscar winner himself, felt intimidated, often performing to empty chairs. At the age of 16, Sidney Poitier lied about his age and joined the Army during November 1943. He found himself serving as a medical attendant at a mental hospital in New York. Feeling unsatisfied with Army life, Poitier tried to feign insanity to secure a discharge. However, when threatened with shock therapy, he confessed to lying about his age. Eventually, he was discharged under Section 8 after several weeks of Army-mandated therapy sessions. Poitier initially declined the lead role in Porgy, and Bess, fearing it would cast African Americans in a negative light. Despite this, he later became a Turner Classic Movies Star of the Month in September 2019. Throughout his life, Poitier has been a significant figure in the film industry, known for his groundbreaking roles and contributions to cinema. Sidney Poitier's role in the Bedford incident marked a significant shift in his career, as it was the first time his character's race was not a central issue. This milestone showcased Poitier's versatility as an actor, proving his talent went beyond portraying characters defined by their race. Poitier developed a close friendship with fellow actor and activist Harry Belafonte, who was born just nine days apart from him. They met in New York when they were both 20, before either had entered the world of show business. Their shared experiences and values laid the foundation for a lifelong bond. And in the heat of the night, Poitier played dead. Virgil Tibbs alongside Rod Steiger, who appeared much older than his 42 years. Poitier, only 40 at the time, demonstrated his ability to hold his own against more seasoned actors, further solidifying his status as a formidable talent. Sidney Poitier's performance as Walter Lee Younger in the 1960 play A Raisin in the Sun earned him a Tony Award nomination for actor in a drama. He later reprised this role in the production. In the film No Way Out from 1950, Poitier played Dr. Luther Brooks, with Richard Widmark as Ray Biddle. Widmark, who played a racist character, was uncomfortable with some of the remarks and apologized to Poitier after filming certain scenes. In 1973, Poitier became a father for the sixth time when his partner Joanna Shimkus gave birth to their daughter Sidney Tamiya Poitier. Poitier was 46 years old at the time. Sidney Poitier's directorial journey included him co-starring in the film Uptown Saturday Night, along with Harry Belafonte, much like their collaboration in Buck and The Preacher. In the thrilling In the Heat of the Night, Poitier played Debt, Virgil Tibbs. Interestingly, Sidney was so impressed by Scott Wilson's performance that he recommended Wilson for a leading role in In Cold Blood, although Wilson only learned of this recommendation later. In Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Poitier portrayed John Prentice, who faced opposition from his father, Mr. Prentice, who said, in 16 or 17 states, you'll be breaking the law. You'll be criminals. However, an important historical context is that, by the time the movie was screened, this statement was no longer accurate. On June 12, 1967, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled anti-miscegenation laws unconstitutional in the case of Loving v. Virginia. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, made history as the first black actor to win the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1964 for his role in Lilies of the Field. Following the death of Maximilian Schell in 2014, Poitier became the earliest surviving actor to have won this prestigious award. However, after Poitier's passing on January 7, 2022, this title was passed to Gene Hackman. In Paris Blues, Poitier played the character Eddie Cook, and a bottle of Perrier water is visible on the table where Eddie and Lillian are seated during a Baytox Mouch cruise on the Seine. This specific brand of water is still being poured in 2022, highlighting the enduring presence of Poitier's films. Poitier's age difference with his co-stars and guests who's coming to dinner is also noteworthy. He was only 13 years younger than the actor portraying his father, Roy Glenn, and only seven years younger than the actress portraying his mother, B. Richards. In contrast, Catherine Houghton, who played his love interest, was appropriately age-spaced with the actors portraying her parents, Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn. 
Overall, Poitier's impact on the film industry is undeniable, and his legacy continues to resonate in the world of cinema. Sidney Poitier, in the film Blackboard Jungle, faced a request to sign a loyalty oath due to his activism and associations. Poitier and director Richard Brooks dismissed the demand and commenced filming. In 1974, Poitier was bestowed an honorary knighthood Order of the British Empire. Although he can't use Sir before his name, he can add KBE to his title. In The Greatest Story Ever Told, Poitier portrayed Simon of Siren alongside eight Oscar winners and ten Oscar nominees. The cast included Joseph Shilecrow, Shelley Winters, Charlton Heston, Sidney Poitier, John Wayne, Jose Fur, Van Heflin, and Martin Landau, and Max von Sydow, Carol Baker, Victor Buono, Dame Angela Lansbury, Dorothy McGuire, Sal Mineo, Claude Rains, Kelly Sabalas, Ed Wynn, and Robert Loggia. Sidney Poitier played Alan Newell in The Slender Thread, but didn't share any scenes with Anne Bancroft, a pattern he repeated in 84 Charing Cross Road. In The Defiant Ones, he collaborated with director Stanley Kramer, reuniting with him in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Poitier's portrayal of Homer Smith in Lilies of the Field earned him a Best Actor Oscar, coincidentally the same name as Melvin Douglas's character in HUD, who won the Best Actor in a Supporting Role Oscar that year. Sidney Poitier is a prominent figure in American cinema, with five of his films appearing on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 most inspiring movies of all time. These films include A Raisin in the Sun, The Defiant Ones, Lilies of the Field, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and In the Heat of the Night. Poitier's work often tackled racial issues, as seen in In the Heat of the Night, where he starred as Dead, Virgil Tibbs, and In the Defiant Ones, where he played Noah Cullen. Beyond these well-known films, Poitier also shared the screen with other notable actors in movies that explored racial tensions. For instance, he appeared alongside Gary Cooper in Band of Angels and with Claude Akins in Porgy and Bess. These roles further solidified Poitier's status as a groundbreaking actor who pushed boundaries and addressed important social issues during his career. Sidney Poitier's collaboration with director Ralph Nelson following their success with Lilies of the Field, resulted in the film Duel at Diablo instead of the initially planned FBI thriller. In this movie, Poitier took on the role of Taller. One of Poitier's most celebrated performances is his portrayal of Virgil Tibbs in In the Heat of the Night, ranked 55th on Premier Magazine's list of the 100 greatest performances of all time in 26. In The Slender Thread, Poitier acted alongside fellow Oscar winners Anne Bancroft and Telly Sabalas, demonstrating his ability to hold his own among esteemed colleagues. His performance in this film was equally noteworthy. In 1967, Sidney Poitier delivered three memorable performances in Guests Who's Coming to Dinner in the Heat of the Night and to Serve with Love. Despite their success, he did not receive a Best Actor Oscar nomination, possibly due to votes being split among the three. Poitier made history as the first black man to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for Lilies of the Field in 1964. However, he felt ambivalent about the achievement, concerned that it was a token gesture rather than a sign of progress. In The Defiant Ones, Poitier starred alongside Tony Curtis, who noticed Kramer's favoritism towards Poitier. Curtis understood the racial climate of the time and acknowledged Poitier's exceptional talent, regardless of his color. Throughout his career, Poitier's performances transcended racial barriers, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. However, he remained critical of Hollywood's treatment of black actors, even after his historic win. At the age of 45, Sidney Poitier became a father for the fifth time when his partner, later second wife, Joanna Shimkus, gave birth to their daughter, Annika Poitier. In the 1960s, Poitier's film stardom led to unique payment arrangements, where he was paid $1 participation, earning a cut of the film's gross from the first ticket sold. Later, in the early 1980s, a man named David Hampton impersonated Poitier's son to gain access to the homes of several wealthy New Yorkers. 
Playwright John Guerra found this story intriguing and wrote the play Six Degrees of Separation based on Hampton's deception. The play was later adapted into a movie in 1993, with Will Smith portraying the character inspired by Hampton. This anecdote highlights the profound impact of Poitiers' fame and the magic that his name held for people of his generation, particularly white people. Despite the scandal, Poitiers' legacy as a groundbreaking actor remained untarnished. Sidney Poitier, in the film The Defiant Ones, portrayed Noah Cullen, who shared a poignant moment about going to church barefoot, referencing the spiritual I Got Shoes. Poitier has starred in eight films recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. In both Guess Who's Coming to Dinner and In the Heat of the Night, Poitier's characters offer to repay long-distance phone calls to white characters. These films, all featuring Poitier, showcase his influential career and contributions to American cinema. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, is known for his role as Homer Smith in Lilies of the Field, where he sings despite being tone deaf. He received the Screen Actors Guild's Lifetime Achievement Award for his remarkable career. In The Defiant Ones, he starred as Noah Cullen alongside Cara Williams, the film's last surviving cast members until their recent passing in December 2021 and January 2022. Poitier's impact on the film industry is undeniable, leaving a legacy that continues to resonate today. Sidney Poitier, a renowned actor, took on challenging roles that required physical stamina and dedication. In the film The Defiant Ones, he played Noah Cullen, and his co-star Tony Curtis insisted that Poitier receive top billing. The two actors were shackled together throughout the film, which led to grueling stunt work during scenes in fields, swamps, and woods, as well as a climactic run for a train. The most difficult sequence was when they were swept down a river and had to climb out of a deep clay pit during a rainstorm. Although there were stunt doubles for some scenes, Poitier and Curtis did most of the stunts themselves. In Buck and The Preacher, Poitier played Buck, and his co-star was Ruby D, who played his character's wife, just as she had an edge of the city and a raisin in the sun. Poitier's and D's on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and their collaborations were always highly anticipated. Poitier's dedication to his craft and his willingness to take on physically demanding roles set him apart from his peers. His legacy as a trailblazing actor continues to resonate with audiences today. Sidney Poitier became a father for the first time at the age of 25, when his first wife Juanita Hardy gave birth to their daughter Beverly Poitier Henderson on July 5, 1952. In his illustrious career, Poitier starred in the play and film adaptation of A Raisin in the Sun, where he delivered the line, The Lion Waking Now Honey. Wim away. This line was a reference to the song The Lion Sleeps Tonight, made famous by the Weavers and the Tokens. In a notable coincidence, both Sidney Poitier and film director Peter Bogdanovich passed away on the same day, January 6, 2022, in the same city, Los Angeles. Poitier had worked with Bogdanovich and Tessir with Love 2 in 1996. Their simultaneous passing marked an end of an era in the film industry, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and influence generations of actors and filmmakers. Sidney Poitier, a legendary actor, took on the role of Manny Durrell in the film, a piece of the action before retiring from acting for 11 years. During his retirement, he focused on directing films, with Stir Crazy being the most popular and writing his autobiography. Throughout his career, Poitier has starred in four Oscar Best Picture nominees, including The Defiant Ones, Lilies of the Field, In the Heat of the Night, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Among these, In the Heat of the Night won the award for Best Picture. In The Defiant Ones, Poitier played the character Noah Cullen and had great respect for the film's director, Stanley Kramer. He admired Kramer's courage to tackle important social issues in his films, despite the potential backlash from powerful Hollywood columnists. Poitier's work has left an indelible mark on the film industry, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. His contributions to cinema have helped to shape the industry, and his performances in some of the most memorable films in history will be cherished for generations to come. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, began his journey in New York with humble beginnings, even sleeping in bus stations due to poverty. To secure his first major role in No Way Out, he claimed to be 27 when he was only 22. Poitier's career-defining role is debt. Virgil Tibbs' In In the Heat of the Night marked a significant milestone as the first major Hollywood film in color to consider proper lighting for a dark-skinned actor, 
Thanks to Haskell Wexler's toned down lighting techniques in The Defiant Ones, Poirier showcased his singing skills with all other music in the film coming from radios. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, holds a prominent position as a member of the board of directors at the Walt Disney Company since 1998. His impact extends beyond acting, reaching significant spheres of influence. In April 1997, Poitier was appointed as the Bahamian ambassador to Japan, reflecting his pride in his Bahamian citizenship, despite being born in the United States. One of Poitier's most notable film roles was in The Defiant Ones, where he starred as Noah Cullen alongside Carol O'Connor, who made a brief, uncredited appearance as a truck driver in his first film role. O'Connor would later gain fame in the TV series version of In the Heat of the Night as Bill Gillespie, the role originally played by Rod Steiger in the film version. Poitier starred alongside Steiger as Virgil Tibbs in the original In the Heat of the Night film. These collaborations highlight Poitier's impact on both the big and small screens. Sidney Poitier, a prostate cancer survivor, has left a lasting impact on the film industry. In Buster Rhymes' music video Give Me Some More, Poitier is honored with both a mention in the lyrics and a photograph. As a proud grandfather of four and great-grandfather of two, Poitier's family continues to grow. His influence extends beyond film and into the lives of those who look up to him as a role model and inspiration. At the age of 27, Sidney Poitier became a father for the second time when his first wife, Juanita Hardy, gave birth to their daughter Pamela Poitier on April 12, 1954. Later, his future wife, Joanna Shimkus, encouraged him to direct his first film, Buck and the Preacher, in 1972 after he and the original director couldn't agree creatively. Poitier is well known for his role as Debt, Virgil Tibbs and In the Heat of the Night. Interestingly, B. Richards, who played the abortionist Mama Kaliba in the same film, had previously portrayed the mother of Poitier's character in Guess, who's coming to dinner in 1967. This highlights the limited roles available for black actors during that time, as both films featured them in maternal figures for Poitier's characters, despite their age difference. Sidney Poitier, a respected figure in the film industry, holds a position on the USC School of Cinema Television's Board of Counselors. Before his iconic role as a teacher in To Sir, with Love in 1967, Poitier played a troubled student in the 1955 film Blackboard Jungle. At the age of 44, Poitier served as the visual inspiration for the original illustrations of the superhero Green Lantern John Stewart, the first African-American member of the Corps. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, has been honored with an honorary doctorate degree from Shippensburg University of Pennsylvania. In 1967, he made history as the first black actor to leave his autograph, hand, and footprints in the cement at Grauman's Chinese Theater. Poitier's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame can be found at 7065 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, commemorating his contributions to the film industry. Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor, was ranked as number 20 on Premier Magazine's list of the greatest movie stars of all time in 25. Poitier's memorable performance is Debt, Virgil Tibbs in In the Heat of the Night is particularly noteworthy. During the scene at the police chief's house, Poitier and Rod Steiger improvised much of their dialogue, contributing to the film's authenticity. Poitier's acting talent was also showcased in No Way Out, where he played the role of Dr. Luther Brooks. In one scene, as Dr. Brooks puts on his white coat in the locker room, he inadvertently leaves it unzipped. While this may seem like a minor detail, it adds to the character's humanity and relatability. Poitier's impact on the film industry is undeniable, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. His ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters, combined with his powerful screen presence, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Sidney Poitier, the earliest surviving actor to have won the Academy Award for Best Actor, received his award for playing Homer Smith in Lilies of the Field at the 36th Annual Academy Awards in 1964. In December of the same year, it was announced that Poitier would star in Be Ready with Bells and Drums, a film adaptation of Elizabeth Cotta's novel about contemporary life in a big city. In The Defiant Ones, Poitier played Noah Cullen and was dubbed by Herbert Weicker in the German version. Interestingly, Weicker also dubbed Leonard Nimoy, who played Mr. Spock in Star Trek, the original series. This means that in the German version of The Defiant Ones, the voices of James T. Kirk and Mr. Spock are heard together, creating a unique and unexpected connection between two iconic franchises. 
In Be Ready With Bells and Drums, Poitier's character was a central figure in a story about modern urban life. The film was produced by Pandros Berman for MGM, and while it is not as well known as some of Poitier's other work, it is an important part of his filmography and a reflection of his versatility as an actor. Overall, Poitier's career has been marked by his ability to take on a wide range of roles and bring depth and nuance to each character he plays. From Lilies of the Field to be ready with bells and drums, he has consistently delivered powerful and memorable performances that have resonated with audiences around the world. Let's take a moment to talk about the incredible Sidney Poitier, a groundbreaking actor who left an everlasting impact on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning decades, Poitier broke barriers and inspired countless individuals with his powerful performances. Some of his most memorable roles include his Oscar-winning performance in Lilies of the Field, his iconic role in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and his unforgettable performance in In the Heat of the Night. Through these roles and many others, Poitier showcased his exceptional talent and versatility as an actor. We would love to hear your thoughts on Sidney Poitier's work and legacy. What was your favorite performance of his? How did he inspire you? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's honor the incredible legacy of Sidney Poitier and the many other artists who have left their mark on the world of entertainment.